Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making keto, low carb, whatever you want to call it, chicken nuggets. And we're not using pork rinds or any kind of flour. All right y'all, this recipe is very simple and it's one that I just experimented with last night and y'all, it turned out delicious. So. What I'm going to be using for this recipe is Purdue's diced chicken breast. Y'all, this is so convenient. I think it's about $6 a package. So the price, you know, ew, technically isn't that pretty, but it's gonna save you a lot of time. There's nothing worse than having to cut up chicken breast and pulling the tendons out and all that yucky good stuff, okay? All right, so I'm gonna be using about 10 of these. Um, little nuggets. I may end up using more. Depends on how much coating I have left um, in my bowl. So for the coating, I'm actually going to be using Quest chips. Now, if you've never heard of this um, chip brand before, Quest chips are high in protein. Um, they are pretty average in calories compared to other chips, but they're low in carbs as well. So I'm going to be using this as my coating. Now I have the hot and spicy flavor. Y'all <laughs> eating these by themselves. I made a mistake in buying these because I couldn't even finish a whole bag. So they come, you can get them in packs of four or you can buy them individually. And y'all, I couldn't even finish this whole pack because they were so freaking hot. And so I still had three packs left because again, these come in packs of four. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? I can't waste these because you know, they're not super cheap. They're depending on where you go, eight, nine, $10 for four of them. And they're about two, three, something dollars individually. So anyways, what can I do with these things? I don't want to waste them. Um, my husband was going to take them to work, but I was like, no, like I, I still want to be able to do something with it. So I was like, why don't I use it as a chicken coating? And you may think, well, Lauren, if they're so hot, why in the world are you going to put them on chicken and then ruin your chicken? Well, I had that same thought, but when it comes to chicken nuggets, if you're like me, I like to drench mine in ranch and y'all it worked. The ranch, my homemade ranch completely killed the heat and it just left, left the good flavor of the chips. Okay. All right. So we're going to use this as coating and then I'm also going to add in some grated Parmesan just for some extra protein and just for some more bulk, some more filler. Okay. All right. Um, well, let's go ahead and get the coating set up and then we will dredge our chicken in it and then we're going to cook our chicken. So I'm going to take a Ziploc bag here and I'm going to pour the chips into the Ziploc bag because I'm going to crush the chips up as finely as I can. Now yesterday I just crushed them up in the bag but they didn't get super super tiny. So my husband was like, Lauren, give me that. Uh, actually, he was nice about it. <laughs> He's like, Lauren, let me help you with that. So he ended up taking them and putting them in the Ziploc bag and then using the roller to crush them up. So we will do it his way. I'm just always worried like the bag's going to pop, you know. Probably, should I leave a little bit of air in there? Or where the air can escape? Okay. You wanna get them a fine, fine, fine. So if you're one of those people who coat their chicken in pork rinds and you're tired of that, you can try chips instead. Atkins makes really good protein chips, low carb chips. Like I said, Quest. There's a brand out there called Legendary. 
Quest you can find at Target, Walmart, Vitamin Shop, Amazon, and they come in a ton of different flavors. My favorite flavor is the Loaded Taco. It tastes just like a taco. You can taste the meat. You can actually even taste the lettuce. Like it's really weird, but it's so good. All right, let me check that. All right. We'll try just a little bit more. push on it. Now the amount I'm making is enough for one person. So if you need more, double or triple the recipe. All right, we're going to go with that. I'm going to pour them into this bowl here. To that, I'm going to add in about a teaspoon and a half of the grated Parmesan. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? Let's go with two. Let's do two teaspoons. Last night, I didn't really measure. We just kind of, again, this was an experiment. Um, we just kind of dumped some in. So this looks good. Let's mix that around. I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt and pepper. Probably a couple pinches of pepper. I love pepper. All right, that was several good pinches. <laughs> and some salt. And y'all always start with the pepper first and I should start with the salt because you know, I always end up getting pepper in the salt. Oh well. All right, let's give that a mix. All right, so that's the coating y'all. I mean, it's that simple and it's gonna be so flavorful. All right, there's that. So I'm gonna just set this to the side and now I'm gonna get the chicken ready. I'm gonna start with just 10 pieces and then, um, I will see if I have any coating left over. I couldn't experiment with more chicken yesterday other than 10 because my hubby ended up making tempura chicken for him and my daughter. And he used, he ended up using the rest of the chicken. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna see if I can get more. So they they come in different sizes. The pieces aren't all the same, but you know, they're cubed. Nine. All right, I went and got my scale real quick because I want to measure how much 10 pieces of chicken is. Let's do this. All right, it's 155 grams and 5.5 ounces of chicken. I'm going to be using these egg beaters instead of a regular egg, just because a regular egg, it's too much egg and too much of the egg gets wasted. So I'm just going to pour on these egg beaters, which are basically egg whites, and I'm just gonna pour enough just to coat the chicken. But again, feel free to use a regular egg. I'm just doing this just to save an egg. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss those and just see. So we're just doing this so the coating will stick. Yeah, that looks like enough. You don't need a ton of egg. All right, what I'm gonna do now is take this pan that it goes in our toaster oven and I put a piece of tin foil on it. Sheet pan, put tin foil on it. And I'm going to spray my air fryer basket right here. Cause like I said earlier, I'm going to air fry the chicken. 
and I don't want the chicken to stick. All right, let me get a little station set up here. Here we go. Let me just mix these up again. I'm just gonna put in just a couple at a time just so it doesn't get crowded in the bowl here. Now the coating sticks really well to these. All right, just gonna mix it up in there. gonna place it on. That's simple. So like I mentioned earlier, Quest has a variety of chip flavors. Y'all, they have barbecue, loaded taco, ranch, sour cream, and chives or onions. Um, sweet chili lime. So I think one called sweet heat. Of course, the hot and spicy here, which I probably won't buy again unless I'm gonna just use it for this. <laughs> but I would like to try the other flavors on here as well. I've had several of the chips, you know, just by themselves. Loaded taco is my favorite. Oh, they also have a nacho cheese, which is my husband's favorite. But I think all of those would make a good chicken coating. You just wanna change it up. Now pork rinds, they also make different flavors of pork rinds. We have two flavors of pork rinds. One is apple cinnamon and the other is jalapeno cranberry. I didn't know how either of those would do on chicken. So that's why I just decided to use the Quest chips instead of the pork rinds. So the jalapeno cranberry might've been good, but I don't know about the apple cinnamon on chicken. It might. I just don't like wasting food, so I don't know if I <laughs> want to attempt it. It's really good by itself there. All right, y'all. Well, <laughs> I'm down to the bottom of the barrel here. I think I'm going to try just one small piece of chicken. That way you can just go ahead and use it up. But y'all, look at this. This might be enough for two people. Just depends on how hungry or not hungry you are. <laughs> That's a lot of chicken nuggets. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get another one in here. I still have a little bit of egg, but I love this, y'all, because I did not waste a ton of egg, which I'm happy about. Um, all right. Try this piece of chicken here. And So these are gonna go into my air fryer. Now my air fryer is kind of like a toaster oven slash air fryer. I'm gonna preheat the um, air fryer first to 375 degrees. And then these are gonna go in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Now my air fryer has preheated and I just have it sitting on the top um, thing, whatever you call it. And then I'm just gonna put this on the very bottom so that it'll catch anything that falls or drips. All right, 20 minutes. All right, well, that's cooking. I was gonna show you my Christmas sweatshirt that I have. I got this from Disney last year. My parents took Jimmy, me, and Millie to Disney for a few days, and we had so much fun. Uh, we went after Thanksgiving. And so I got this different looking sweatshirt. I like being different. Um, <laughs> I thought it was cute. And on the back, it's got like characters from Toy Story, Monsters, Inc. I think Up. Is that Up? Yeah. So it's got different things. It's just really cool. It's really cute. And it's not like matchy-matchy. So that's what I love about it. And this is the, the pizza. I'm not good with some of those Disney cartoons because I didn't see them all. But... What is this from? Is this from Toy Story? Anyways, if you know, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Chicken is done, hopefully. I'm gonna take it out of the air fryer and then I'm gonna test it with a thermometer. So I'm gonna poke the largest one with this thermometer here. And I'm looking for 165 degrees. 
Bam. She is done. All right. So I'm going to let these cool off just a bit, and then I'm going to show you the plate I made. And I'm also going to drench these in ranch because I made a really good homemade ranch. I have a short about it, but I ended up revamping it. So I need to make another video of my homemade ranch. It's so, so good. All right, I'm going to let these cool and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to show you the chicken before I douse it in ranch. <laughs> um, some parts are a little crunchy. Some parts are a little soft. So, um... The smaller ones seem to be a little bit more crunchier than the larger ones, but you know, I don't mind. I don't have to have my chicken nuggets crunchy. Most of the time when I eat chicken nuggets out at restaurants, they're not crunchy. So, all right, so let me go ahead and put some ranch on these babies. All right, I'm gonna measure out two tablespoons. And drizzle it on. Y'all, I could probably literally drink ranch. Like, I dip french fries in ranch, burgers in ranch, of course, chicken. I've eaten it on baked potatoes. Of course, salads. <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge salad person, though, to be honest with you. All right, there's that. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of pepper. Right, so I'm going to let it cool just a bit, but I want to go ahead and just tell you what else I have on my plate here. So I have a vegetable medley, I guess you could call it, a California blend. It's just a bag of frozen veggies that I cooked in chicken bouillon. Um, dissolved one and a half chicken bouillon cubes in water and then just boiled these in that water. Um... And then here, this is my cornbread salad, which I have a video of. Now, you're thinking cornbread is not low carb, it's not keto. It's low carb if it fits within what I'm considering to be low carb. All right, so let me try to explain this. So, if you know about Atkins, there's an induction phase. And Atkins induction phase... Um, the new version, you can eat between 20 and 25 net carbs. Well, after the induction phase, you can slowly add back in more carbs. The next cycle is 40 net carbs. And I don't need to like lose a ton of weight. Um, so I don't need to like, like be super restrictive. I was restrictive for two weeks at the beginning, but now I'm slowly adding back in more carbs. And so... This cornbread salad for half a cup only has eight net carbs and it's cornbread. It's cornbread, mayo, bell pepper, red onion, um, sweet relish, but made with Splenda and sweet pickle juice made with Splenda. So it's actually a low calorie meal and a low carb or side dish, not meal. All right. So. I'm gonna get all the macros and all that good stuff together so you can see what all of this equals. All right, y'all, here's the nutrition information. So just for the chicken with the coating and the ranch dressing on top, it's 301 calories. Protein is 53 grams, that's amazing. And then net carbs is only 3.3 grams. Again, that's just for the chicken. Okay, um, now these are rough estimates. Um, I use Fat Secret and they don't, of course don't have my homemade ranch in Fat Secret. So I just found a light uh, ranch dressing in there. So the numbers could just be slightly different, but not by much. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Now taking the chicken with the vegetables and my cornbread salad, we get a total of 401 calories. Protein went up to 55 and net carbs 14. So this is a win-win. All right, let me taste a piece of chicken because it should be cooled off by now. All right, here we go. I already know it's gonna be good because I had it yesterday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
that's delicious. <laughs> I don't like talking about mouthful. There's still a little bit of heat, but it's not nearly as bad as it was if you were to eat those chips plain. <laughs> Chicken's tender, it's juicy, it's cooked all the way through. That hot and spicy crust just gives it a really good, really good flavor. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you give this keto, low-carb chicken nugget recipe a try, and let me know in the comments what you think. All right, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye. Y'all, I just had to hop back on here again. This chicken is so freaking delicious. It does not taste like I'm eating potato chips on chicken. It tastes legit. It tastes like real chicken nuggets. Um, I don't know. You need to give this a try. It is awesome. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.